Now, the way I understand the story is that before he shipped out to Europe, he was going to he was going to take a train to New York City. My mother was going to go on a train from Boston. They were going to spend a night together, but there was a hurricane, and it delayed the trip. That it delayed the troop carrying train for a day. By the time my mother got to Grand Central Station, the troop train was pulling into the station and they had five minutes together. All she had time to do was to say that she loved him, be careful, and she took out this little Bible and she stuck it in his pocket, which went to Europe through the winter of 1944 and 1945 where the temperature was zero, where he had to pee in his helmet and bathe his face in water just to keep, just to have something warm, just to feel something warm. That's all he had. There were never any, where he was, there were, there were no PXs, there were no, there were no shows where Bob Hope showed up. Uh, there were no, there were no coffee trucks. Uh, he lived out in the woods for 171 days, fighting every single day. In order to, in order to get off the snow, he would sometimes stack bodies, German bodies, and sit on them where there had been a battle, just to get off the snow. He had a Thompson submachine gun, a K-bar knife, a 45 automatic pistol, a strand of piano wire, which was used to strangle squads that he would go out and find. And this Bible, this was the only thing he had to read. He had a blanket over his head and a flashlight under the blanket and a helmet on creating a sort of tent uh, sitting in a hole in the Ardennes forest in the middle of winter reading this little New Testament what water stains mean on a book means abuse generally what water stains mean on a book like this is another day of horrible combat in unbelievable condition. People were shooting at him and there was so much death around him. God walked into that scene. God walked into hell and said to him, we will get you home. We will get you first home to Massachusetts, and then we will get you home to heaven. He went to war twice. At night he was killing Germans. It, and he was also killing demons of the past and bringing a new life into his world. This has saved a lot of people, but for me personally, it saved one man I knew. And, uh, Always the first one to stand up at prayer, always the first one to stand up for his faith. And he knew that when he opened that, that's when that's when the true warrior was created, you see. It wasn't just the it wasn't the army who created a warrior. It was this word, the word. That's what created the warrior. The warrior, the big war. I don't know how many people he led to Christ in his life. I suspect more than I have. 
and I'll always I'll always have that. So we'll return this Bible back to the shelf tonight. You hear a lot about foxhole conversions. Well, this is one of them. There are a lot of them, and this is just one. to uh, Sam Feinberg, 1941. 